Um, and I'm going to share to my PowerPoint. So while I'm going through the PowerPoint, if you do have a question, if you would go ahead and just um, say it, like use your microphone to ask me. It's a little bit hard when you're like presenting to see the chat. Um, but anyway, welcome to INTR 101 College Success Strategies. So a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Kelly Christensen. I'm the Academic Coaching Coordinator at the U of I. Um, and a couple quick fast facts. I use she, her pronouns. My office is normally located on the third floor of the ISUB, so right above Einstein's in the Vandal Success Center. Um, but given the pandemic, I am also working from home some days. So um, when we're in the classroom, I'll obviously be there to teach, but it's usually best uh, to shoot me an email before coming by if you have a question. Um, I try and do office hours by appointment. That way I can always make sure that I either have a Zoom link up or I'm in my office to meet with you. Um, I graduated with degrees in math and physics uh, and just my favorite class was game theory. I like to tell everyone that. So um, I mentioned that I'm the ac academic coaching coordinator and what academic coaching does is help students be more successful in college and we meet them at wherever their definition of success is. So whether that's you know, wanting to get through a class, uh, learning some test taking tips, time management, different things like that. That's what I'm here to help with. So the goal of this course is to learn and implement tools for academic success, to demonstrate how college success strategies will be used towards academic achievement, uh, to discover and engage with University of Idaho resources that support student achievement, and to reflect on and research academic methods for college and career success. So it sounds very formal, but hopefully you'll get a lot out of this course. If you're a first year student, it's a nice way to kind of get your feet under you before you jump into all of your classes. So some general course information. Um, you can reach me at kellyc at uidaho.edu. Um, and that is my office phone number, which you can call me at. I'm seeing some folks hop in as I'm presenting. Hello, welcome. So just keep in mind, this class does start at 930. Um, and we will start right away. Um, I am recording this session, so if you popped in a little bit late, the recording will be posted on BB Learn. Um, I usually upload them to YouTube first, just because it's a little bit easier to watch the videos that way. But you will be able to check out the first little bit. So this course meets on Wednesdays and Fridays from 9.30 to 10.20. Uh, our normal meeting location is admin 326, but this class is also available over Zoom. Um, so we'll be doing high flex on the days that we're in the classroom. Um, it will be Zoomed in as well. Um, if everyone is uncomfortable with being in a classroom, then we can go fully online and that's okay as well. We're meeting online this first week because I got an email saying that quite a few students didn't have their test results back yet. Um, so in order to make sure that everyone felt safe and that everything was, was all good, we're just meeting online for these first two days. So how might this class change? Uh, we might have to switch online due to conditions on campus. Um, it is an ever-changing situation, so if something pops up, we'll go fully online. And if that is the case, we can either meet synchronously or asynchronously, meaning we'll either meet at the same time as class would normally happen over Zoom, or you can engage with the course on your own time um, if your schedule gets a little bit busy. So I'll keep you up to date and informed if anything changes. Um, I get a lot of emails from the university, so if something pops up, y'all will be the first to know. Um, just keep an eye on your emails for any information like meeting online today um, and tomorrow or Friday. Um, I'll always post as soon as I can. So a big portion of this class is attendance slash participation. Now, because we're meeting high flex, it's kind of hard to mandate any sort of attendance and I don't really wanna do that, but I do want you to participate and engage with the material. So there'll be short assignments on the material that we cover and those will count for participation and attendance points. These assignments will either be due in class if you're attending um, or online on Fridays. So when we jump into the BB Learn course and kind of go over all of that stuff, I'll show you where exactly those assignments live, how to turn them in, everything like that. So attending Zoom sessions is strongly encouraged when we have them, 
but I won't penalize you if you're unable to attend. I understand that sometimes you can't, you know, access a strong internet connection. I just ask that you be really communicative with me. So let me know if you can't make it to class, shoot me an email, call me, um, just whatever it takes to let me know that you won't be there. That way I know you're not just like skipping out on class. Um, assignments are posted in the course content tab in their respective weekly folders. And these assignments are short, so they shouldn't take you more than 15 or 20 minutes. It's just to check in on your understanding of the material that we covered and allow you to try it out. So there are ways to make up points if you miss assignments. I, I don't believe that people should just like miss out on a ton of points because life gets crazy. I do ask that you contact me as soon as possible if you aren't going to be able to finish or complete an assignment. Um, and if you do consistently miss assignments, then I will require you to meet with me before I allow you to make up any more points. And that's because I just want to check in, see how things are going. If there's a bigger problem that's happening, maybe your schedule's crazy, maybe you've got, you know, a lot of other things on your plate. I want to have a chance to discuss that and come up with the best plan to make sure you can be successful in this course. So I allow students to make up points. I always do. However, if you wait until the day before class is over to reach out, um, it won't be as likely that you can make up all the points. You might only be able to make up a fraction of them uh, and you might have to do some extra work to get those. Part of this course is teaching you how to be prepared and successful in college. And one of the biggest parts of that is communicating with instructors when something comes up. So I try and reinforce that through my own policies. So grading for this course is pretty straightforward. You'll have two instructor conversations. Um, both of those are worth 25 points. You'll have weekly reflections for a total of 210 points. So there's seven of them. Participation is 160 points. It is 10 points per class, so 20 points per week. And then there is a final project due. Um, it's an action plan and a final reflection. It's hopefully going to be really useful for you. I don't believe in projects that don't help people. Um, so that final project should play into your academic goals and should help you with your semester planning. So total of 520 points. Just a note, the gradebook on BB Learn might be a little bit confusing at the moment. Um, I'm still adding in and rearranging some assignments. So if the point total looks a little funky right now, don't worry, it'll get um, fixed and ready. So uh, one of the other things I mentioned were weekly reflections. So each week students will be expected to complete a weekly reflection. These again are found in the course content tab. Um, word count minimums are stated for each question. Please pay attention to those word count minimums. Um, and if you incorporate an outside source, then you must include an MLA citation. So we'll go over these a little bit more as we jump into the course, but the weekly reflections are just a way to have you dive into the material that we're covering in class a little bit more, give you an opportunity to work on building out essay question type um, responses for, for your different courses. I try and give a lot of feedback, so if you're responses are maybe a little grammatically funky or you're not hitting those word count minimums or I think they could be a little bit stronger, I'll give you feedback in order to help you build those skills. So the instructor check-ins that I mentioned, um, each student will meet with me at least two times during the semester and these meetings can take place over the phone or on Zoom. Um, I'm happy to chat with you as much as you would like over the course of um, the week or of the whole like eight week course. So don't feel like you can only meet with me twice. Um, but the two meetings that will count, oh, spelling error, the two meetings that will count for points uh, should be a bit spread out over the course. Oh my gosh, just ignore those spelling errors. There's bound to be one. So the final project that I mentioned, uh, is worth 100 points and this project includes an action plan which will be submitted online um, and we'll talk a bit more about what an action plan is. Um, it's kind of a big thing in the course and it's one of academic coaching's favorite things and then we'll have sort of a more in-depth reflection. So you'll be writing these reflections throughout the course and then for the final one I'm going to have you reflect on a past one and kind of build out an answer to another one. So we'll discuss the project at length in a few weeks um, this is an eight-week course, so things go by pretty quickly, 
um, but we still got a little bit of time before we need to dive into a final project. So some general classroom policies for everyone. Uh, this course is really dependent on self-reflection and as like as so students are expected to complete all their own work um it doesn't happen often it's sort of hard to cheat on opinion questions but it does happen um and if i if i see that happening i will have to refer you to the dean of students um and they'll handle disciplinary action from there this course because it's also very reflective and kind of personal um, I have a really high expectation for class respect. So any sort of classroom discussion that we have, um, I expect you all to be respectful of each other, um, to hear other people's out, uh, to be respectful of names and pronouns. So as I mentioned in the beginning, my name's Kelly, I go by she, her pronouns. Um, if someone expresses, you know, a name that they want you to call them, I expect you to call them by that name. Uh, and then there is a non-discrimination policy, both in this class and on campus. Um, and I do adhere to that very closely. If there are any issues with that, um, I will refer you to the Dean of Students um, or to some of the other offices on campus. So if you haven't checked out the syllabus yet, which is on BB Learn, uh, it contains a ton of information on resources that are available to you. And the reason that I do that is I know that school is very stressful. So I wanna make sure that everyone has a little blurb on some of the different offices that they can get help from. So there's the Center for Disability Access and Resources, the Counseling and Testing Center, the LGBTQA Office, the Office of Multicultural Affairs, and the Women's Center, just to name a few. Um, we can check out that page and I'll show you kind of all the contact info that's on there. If you have questions about any of those offices, just let me know and we can dive into that. So what we're going to do now is um, stop sharing my screen and we'll jump on to the actual BB Learn page. Um, but before I do that, does anyone have any questions about um, sort of what this course is, what my expectations are? You can either turn on your mic or you can type it in the chat if you have any questions. No, I don't. I was just wondering where the building is. I looked for it on the map, but I couldn't actually find like where we're going to be meeting in person. Yeah, so we're meeting in the administration building. So if you're at the ISUB, you're going to go up that small kind of curved hill. Um, there's an art and architecture building, there's the Albertsons business building, and then the admin building is sort of that older looking uh, three story building. There's some construction happening outside, out front. Okay, I know that one. Yeah, so finding the entrance is a little funky, but the front entrance by one of the coffee shops is there. And then All we're right. in 326. So next week we'll hopefully be in class. Um, we just aren't this first week. Any other questions? Nope. Okay. So we're going to jump over to BB Learn. Um, so I can show you what's going on there share course page okay so here's our bb learn page it should look like a lot of your other bb learn courses um we've got our announcements the zoom information just includes the link uh, that we'll use for any of our zoom meetings so this includes if you're um not meeting in the classroom with us but instead joining the course online from your own home um you'll just use the same zoom link as this one uh, the calendar, which is a fun function, um, it's kind of new to BB Learn for some courses. It includes all of the due dates that are there. So you can upload all of your courses that have BB Learn data on here. Um, right now it's only showing this course because it's like mine. Um, and none of these other courses have stuff due in them. But if you're in several courses that have BB Learn pages, then all of your assignments that are put uh, in the gradebook should show up here. Um, which is a cool little reminder. So the grade section has um, a bunch of stuff. Right now it's mostly the reflections and participation assignments. Um, I will be uploading some other grade stuff that'll go in there. So it might look a little funky over the next couple days as I kind of get all of that sorted out, um, but that will all be there. So we're gonna go to the weekly content first and then we'll kind of go over the syllabus schedule. 
Right now there's three weeks of content up. I'm just filling in the rest of the material. So if we jump into week one, what you'll see is the presentation that I just gave embedded. And as soon as we're done, um, I will take this recording, I'll upload it to YouTube, and then I'll post a YouTube link here as well, so you can return and watch that at any point. Um, if we go fully online, I also use YouTube for those presentations in case students want to engage asynchronously. I found that it's a lot easier to load and view YouTube videos on your phone um, than some of the other ways that folks sometimes upload these recordings. If you run into any issues, let me know and I can get those files to you in another format. So underneath those presentations, you'll also have the participation assignments and the reflections for that week. So participation assignments will either be due in class, like I mentioned. So if we're meeting in the classroom and I have you fill out a worksheet or do a free write or anything like that, that will count for those points and then you don't have to go do the one online. Um, but if you're working with us totally online, then I need to have you fill out these participation assignments. They'll be the same as what we would do in class. It's just that way I have a record of it. Um, and if you're more comfortable with doing the participation assignment online, you can do that as well. Um, it's just if you do it in class, you don't have to like do a second one. So they're listed as tests just because that's the easiest way to make them in BB Learn. Um, but I they're just worth 10 points. So this first one, which I am going to have everyone do because I want to get to know you a little bit better, is just that. Um, I want to know a little bit about yourself, so what year you are in college, what your major is. Um, I'm a big fan of hearing what people's favorite songs are or like the song of the summer. Um, so just tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, and then I want to know why you're taking INTR 101, what you're kind of hoping to get out of this course, uh, and then just checking in about your understanding of the syllabus and the content. So I want to make sure that the structure makes sense. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I try and grade these really quickly, so I'll just email you any sort of answers um, if you have questions. So you just fill these out and hit submit. For these participation assignments, there isn't a word count. Um, preferably don't give me one word answers, uh, but I don't do a word count for the participation assignments. So we're gonna hop back into the week one folder. There'll be another partici participation assignment for Friday's class. Um, so you'll just click that one and the PowerPoint will get uploaded in here as well. And then the thing that's due every Sunday is a weekly reflection. So we can check out the week one reflection. Again, it's listed as a test. It's worth 30 points. Um, and it just has a couple of questions. So this one refers mostly to our presentation that occurs tomorrow. Um, but I have how does your personal definition of success differ from the definitions of success that you hear from other people. And for these weekly reflections, I do have a word count minimum. So keep that in mind, right? This one is 150 words. I try and make that really clear. Um, the text box does have a word counter so you can see where you're at. Um, if you want to like type it up in Word and then copy and paste it, also totally fine. Just make sure you hit those word count minimums for me. Um, so this first weekly reflection is just two questions. Generally the reflections are between two and three questions. It kind of depends week to week. Um, and just keep an eye on the word count minimum. Occasionally it changes, um, but usually it's pretty consistent. So with that we're going to jump over to the syllabus should pop up okay so um if you notice something funky in the syllabus like i spelled something wrong or something isn't very clear just let me know i'll make corrections and then repost it so we kind of went over where the course is and how you can get a hold of me so office hours are by appointment just because in addition to teaching this course i also meet with students and i give a lot of presentations across campus so my schedule changes a lot, so I try and just do um, office hours by appointment. So our syllabus has like the learning objectives, the discussion or the description, everything that we already kind of talked about, our participation policy, which I went over, um, discusses class reflections, grading, um, and then this, this next portion is all of the different kind of resources that are available to you on campus. 
Like I mentioned, I like to include this so that students know that there's a lot available to them. So it has a ton of info. I know it can be kind of a lot. I just want it to be in case something pops up and you're like, oh man, I really need some assistance with X, Y, or Z topic. Maybe my syllabus has something in there for me. Um, and then the part that a lot of people really like to look at, which is the schedule. So this course is eight weeks long. It's only half of the semester. Um, it moves very quickly just because we've got a short time to get through stuff. Um, but hopefully it'll be helpful to you. So this week, obviously, we're covering our, our course expectations, policies, all of that for this first day, um, which might mean that class ends a little bit short. That's pretty consistent with every semester that I teach this. Um, and then on Friday, we'll be talking about success, motivation, and organization, especially during stressful times. And those participation assignments are due on Friday by 11.59 p.m. And then your week one reflection will be due on Sunday by 11.59 p.m. And I'll send a reminder out for these first couple of assignments just because I know everyone's getting used to their schedule. It's really easy to forget these things. So keep an eye on your email for those reminders. Um, the next week we'll talk about goal setting and time management. And then this week three, um, we have one of the first of our presentations, which is a presentation by Vandal Health Ed. And because campus is so in flux, a lot of offices are only doing presentations remotely. So when we have guest speakers, those will also be online days, which means we won't have a set class time. You'll just need to engage with the presentation that's posted on BB Learn and fill out a participation assignment to go with it. So on the 9th, that'll be one of those days. We're going to talk about mental health and stress management. It's a really great and useful presentation by Vandal Health Ed. Um, I'll talk about it a little bit more in detail next week as we get closer to that presentation. Um, and then we'll be back in the classroom on the 11th for taking effective notes. Um, and then you'll see that by the 11th, the first instructor, instructor conversation is due. So what I'm hoping is that you'll start to email me now to figure out a time to meet to have that first check-in. Um, it's really low key. You don't need to come super prepared. I just wanna talk about kind of where you're at this semester, how you're feeling about your courses, what you're hoping to get out of this class, things like that. I try and tailor the class to the needs of the students. So if there's something that you're really interested in learning more about or that you just want a lot more support with, then let me know and I can make sure to include that in these presentations um, so that you're getting the most out of it. Usually instructor conversations last between like 15 and 30 minutes. It's kind of wherever the conversation takes us. I have had folks who we've only checked in for five. So don't worry about it. Don't stress too hard about that. Um, it's just a nice moment to, to meet with me. Um, and I'll send out a reminder for those so that you have some details on scheduling. Uh, when it comes uh, later in the semester, we start talking about like critical reading, study strategies, test taking. Um, and then we have several online days uh, with more guest presentations. So I try and invite in all of the services on campus that students find really useful. So places like career services, um, the LGBTQA office, the Office of Multicultural Affairs, the Women's Center, um, all of these places that provide a lot of critical support for students. I want them to be able to tell you a bit about what they do and hopefully um, get you connected with them in some way, shape, or form. And then uh, we have a second instructor conversation due later. Our final project is kind of due in two parts. So the first portion of it is due week six. Um, so that's the 4th of October and it's an action plan. Don't worry, we'll talk more about it. Like I said before, it's intended to be very useful for your semester. Um, I realize that you might not know what an action plan is yet, but we'll dive into that during our time management section uh, to learn more about what those are. And then the second portion of that final will be due on the last day of class, which is the 16th. Um, this schedule is subject to change. So, you know, if something pops up, things shift online, the schedule might change a little bit just to accommodate that. Um, but beyond that, it should stick pretty close to this. Um, okay, 
I'm going to hop back here. Let's cover the weekly content. Pretty soon, there'll be another tab that says final project, which I'll have all of the final project info there um, with examples of kind of what I expect with the final project, how it should look, everything like that. So I'm going to head back to the announcements um, and just talk about a few other little things. I'm going to stop sharing there. Um, some basic housekeeping things. Uh, I do have an expectation of good professional communication with this course and what that looks like to me is when you're sending me an email, you know, make sure to include a greeting, your name. Um, it's a small class so I can remember everyone's name, but uh, you know, a general rule of thumb if you're emailing a professor or an instructor for the first time, make sure to let them know who you are and what class they're in. Um, I used to work in the Polio Mathematics Center and we see like 1300 students a semester. So when someone would just say like, hey, I need an extension, it's really hard for me to know who they are, what class they're in, what extension they're looking for, anything like that. So um, general rule of thumb, just let your professors know who you are. Uh, I am just an instructor. I don't have a PhD, so you don't have to call me Dr. Christensen. That's what we would call my dad who has a PhD. Uh, you can just call me Kelly. Um, Miss Christensen is fine too, but like, it's so formal. Just call me Kelly. Um, and then yeah, just shoot me. If you have an email request, just make sure that it's clear. Um, if there's anything that you need, let me know exactly how I can help you. Um, if you don't know how I can help you, just let me know that too. If you're like, man, I'm just really confused on X, let me know about that and we'll workshop a way to, to figure out an answer. Um, I'm available for appointments over the phone, on Zoom. I have my on-campus office set up to meet with folks as well. However, um, I'm only working on campus a couple days a week. So it's a little bit more constrained about when I can meet with you there, um, but it's not impossible. Um, while we're on campus, masks are required. Uh, when we're back in the classroom next week, masks will be required in the class. If you aren't wearing one, I will have to ask you to leave. Um, my mathematics research was all on epidemiology, so I take this very seriously. Um, and I wanna make sure that everyone's safety is taken into account. If at any point during the semester, it doesn't feel safe for you to come to class, that's okay. Let me know so I can make sure that we have you zoomed into the classes, working with the content asynchronously, anything that you need to be successful. So with that, um, are there any questions about the course, about the syllabus, assignments, anything like that? Silence. Cool. You know, I'll be totally honest, I think I would get used to teaching over Zoom because I did it last semester, but it's always awkward. So bear with me. Don't feel bad if you say something awkward over Zoom. I've done that so many times. It's okay. Everyone gets to see my messy apartment, so I feel ya. Um, okay, well then we can end a little bit early. Just a reminder, make sure to do that first participation assignment. It is due Friday, but the sooner you get it in, the less you have to think about it. Uh, so if you got 10 minutes, jump into BB Learn and fill that out and you should be good. If anyone has any questions and they kind of want to hang out on this meeting after other people log off, feel free to. I'll hang out um, until everyone signs off. If you want to just like connect and say hi, awesome. But with that, you are free to go.